Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 Chevrolet Camaro. This is the convertible. It's also the 2SS. It is finished off in red hot and they have a starting MSRP that is right around $47,000. This is the last year as well for the Camaro for 2024. We'll just have to wait and see if Chevrolet decides to come back with a new model. But for this 2SS, this is powered by the 6.2 liter small block V8. This model is paired to the 10 speed automatic. It pumps out 455 horsepower as well as 455 pound feet of torque. That power sent to the rear wheels, propelling this 3,800 pound American muscle car from zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds with a top speed of 165 miles an hour. Now for the front end of this Camaro, there's chrome surrounding the Chevy bow tie as well as a very thin upper grille, matches nicely with the LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. There's also a secondary DRLs in the lower section, as well as a lot more cutouts. There's even a functional heat extraction vent too, right in the middle of both of those hood stripes, which gives it a great look. Now this also has a gloss black set of wheels with the color matched Brembo brake calipers. There's the small Camaro logo, as well as body colored mirrors, soft top for the convertible, and then there's a few lines running down the side as well. You can also use this button on the key fob to lower the top. I will show the interior operation here soon, but if you'd like to do that from the outside of the vehicle, you can do that. And then in back, the stripes continue where there's also a camera right underneath that pedestal spoiler that is located or related to the rear view mirror. The normal backup camera is just above that license plate. There's also the 3D design for those taillights, all the sensors, and that quad tip dual exhaust, which we can take a listen to. And you can use that to shut it off as needed. There's also a hidden trunk button that you can use up underneath. And then this is the amount of storage that you get when you have the top down. But with it down, you can, or with it up, you can remove that and that gives you a lot more storage. But you do have to have this in the up position in order to be able to put the top down. So it's still pretty practical when you have the top down, but if you're buying a convertible, you know what you're getting into as far as storage goes. Now for the door panel, it has some leather. There is some plastic. There's the interior lighting, Bose audio, memory seating adjustments, and then your window and side mirror adjustments. There's a trunk release and a little bit of storage in the back there. And then a very nice set of leather seats. Now we do have that release there to fold the backrest forwards, but you do have to push on the automatic adjustments here to further move the seat forward. Now you're not going to buy this for a full four seater. You get wireless charging though in the back and you could make it work. I'm five foot 10, I would definitely be crammed in the back, but it does give you additional interior storage if you need it with the top down especially, or maybe if you have kids and you still want a vehicle like this, they're going to fit a little bit nicer in the back. Now this has a leather steering wheel with the flat bottom design to it. We'll start it back up here. There's also the paddle shifters. This is a heated steering wheel. There's cruise control and favorites, and then volume on the right side, as well as Bluetooth controls, and then all of these adjustments to go through the gauge cluster. So you'll notice there's the tack on the left side, miles per hour on the right side, some fixed info running across the top, and then you have a lot more info that you can scroll through as needed, just depending on what you would like to get into here. You have all of these, including launch control that you can get into, which is nice. Now on the left side, there's adjustments for that head up display. So you can view miles per hour along with the audio compass, or you can pull up the tack with miles per hour and a G-force meter too. And then with the infotainment system, you have a lot of icons that you can go through. There's even the home screen here with that split view. And then you have adjustments for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can get into your climates, ambient lighting, even a few other apps. And there's also additional shortcuts in the lower section to further get through. Now what's really neat is that the temperature dials are the surrounds for the air vents. So you'll notice that LCD screen there. This also gets heated and ventilated seats as well as all of the AC adjustments. There's even the backup camera. So that's one of the two camera angles. The other camera angle, like I mentioned, is the rear view mirror. So you have that digital view, which is nice and helpful. There's traction control along with a few different driving modes. So you can toggle through these as needed. There's the e-brake along with cup holders and a 12 volt, a little bit of storage in the armrest. You get a lot more in the glove box there, however. 
And then this is the control in order to start the top operation. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you have to have that divider up in order for this to start on that operation. And I'd say it probably takes, let's say 15 seconds or so. In order to do that, it'll tell you when it is complete and you're ready to go. So now let's take a look at it with the top down. It definitely gives it a great look. So that's why you're buying the convertible to have it down, but it definitely looks nice either way. So as we hop back in, we'll put the top back up and get this out on the road. And from second gear, here we go. And just like that, we're up to speed with a mild acceleration for that naturally aspirated V8. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the Chevrolet Camaro. I think it has a good outlook from the front here. You can see a little bit of the hood bulges there, but we don't have too many blind spots. You can see that passenger side of the hood very easily. So it can place the vehicle on that right side there. And it's pretty comfortable. I, th I do wish this screen was a little bit higher or maybe angled slightly different, but with this being the convertible, I can see it being angled back. So that way there's less glare on it, which is nice. So Chevy took some time to really think about the screen placement, especially when the top is in the down position. Now I won't put the top down in today's video. It's what you would expect for a convertible as far as wind noise goes and when you have all the windows down. Now what is a huge plus is that you can keep all four windows up with the top down to help eliminate some of that crosswind, but you can also put all four windows down and leave the top up. So if you want that open cross breeze, but you also wanna stay protected from the sun, if it's a hot day like today with no clouds, uh, you have a few combos that you can do with this. So very versatile for a convertible if this is the kind of vehicle that you are looking to get. But that is going to wrap it up for the last year for the Chevrolet Camaro convertible. Once again, huge shout out to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this for me today. Take a look at their website. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.